Hi, this is Christopher Balog for Pedal Magazine, and I'm here in Dijon, France, in the beautiful Bourgogne region, under the rain. I'm here to visit La Pierre, Les Vélos La Pierre, La Pierre Bikes, about to celebrate their 70th year. We're going to go inside and meet marketing manager Sarah Burden and have a look around. Wow. This is the LaPierre showroom. Fantastic, fantastic. And this is Sarah Burden, Hello. marketing manager here at LaPierre. There's even some bike tire treads in the concrete, stamped concrete floor here. It was you, you ride to work. That was it, you? on the way to work. <laughs> I rode straight through the showroom. Sarah one day. rides to work here, but I, yeah, was... got in a bit of trouble for that, for messing <laughs> up go. the new floor. Well, you left your mark. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go have a look at the factory. Let's right, do it. It's over this way. So, Sarah, the uh, Sensium frame for women yep. has just arrived. Just arrived into the factory today. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be quite a limited number of these. Yep, so there'll there. be a hundred of those being produced. Mm -hmm. A limited edition of a new um, new women's Sensium with the highest spec and we've done previously. Okay, so, and these will have Altegra on it? Yes, that's it. Great, very nice. Nice move, women's cycling. Women's, women's Booming. growing cycling, so exactly we're trying to produce more and more models because there's more and more demand from women to have women specific frames. Mm -hmm. Great. Since Yemen. Ah, this is what I've been looking for. Here is the air code. This is the top aerodynamic frame that's under uh, the Francaise des Jeux team. Beautiful. Lapierre has been sponsoring this team for 13 years. Et un vélo comme ça, combien de temps ça prend? Pour la semaine. 20 minutes. 20 minutes, wow. Ah ouais, c'est prêt. Attention à vous. Oui. Ok, excellent. Oui, excusez-moi. I'm in the way. We're seeing more and more of these, but this is really nice because it's also very aerodynamic and uh, just hugs the frame. Great against, uh, protect from stones and whatever else you're running over. On them, these are uh, 140 mil of travel, full suspension, motorized mountain bike. It's very neat to see the motors uncovered. And yeah, they still feel quite light. It's kind of do anything bike. We were just talking a little bit about quality control here at La Pierre, and this sticker is the same one that is put on the frame when it arrives. It follows it uh, attached to the bike, of course, through its whole life uh, here uh, in the factory, and then it ends up on the box. So, so in that way, if a bike does come back with a problem, they can uh, track it to how it happened and where on the assembly line that might have occurred. And this one's about to go in the box. I have here the mid-range version of the Pulsium uh, with a little special piece of plastic here covering what uh, amounts to a little bit of shock absorption also. Uh, this is one of three bikes that the Francaise des Jeux riders have to choose from. Pretty good, huh? Uh, this one was used in Paris-Roubaix absorbs a little shock and it's a little bit more of a enduro comfort geometry nice ride and all the pulsiums have a kind of beefed up bottom bracket which really helps create stiffness and get a little more play in the upper part of the seat tube for a comfortable beautiful ride Gilles it's great to meet you and to have a look around uh, La Pierre and uh, thank you so much for making some time to speak with me today. Yeah. Gilles, could you tell us a, a little bit about the history of LaPierre bikes? Oh, it's a, a long story, you know, because uh, uh, I am the third generation and uh, my uh, grandfather was the founder in 1946. And then uh, uh, his name was Gaston and then and my father, Jackie, and then uh, my self. And uh, 
to make it to try to make it short because uh, as you can imagine <laughs> a company created in uh, 1946 it has been a long time the only thing we can maybe say that uh, we are not so many companies now uh, in the world bicycle company i mean uh, eponym as we say in french so that means having the same name on the bike as the managing director Jill, what plans do you have? What can you tell me something exciting about the North American market? Uh, uh, I learned a lot the last uh, two years with regard to the North American markets. And I can already come to a first conclusion. From one, one European perspective and the French one, I can see a lot of differences between the Canadians and the Americans. Because on a cultural basis, uh, I think that there is more uh, uh, connection points between Canada and Europe than between Europe and the US. What about product-wise for something like women's cycling, which uh, I know is maybe a lot further ahead in, in North America than it is in, in Europe, for example? We do have, within the Pierre, a dedicated uh, woman-designed approach. So that means that it's a promising market, that's for sure. But I think that once again, the biggest differences between North America and Europe is that on the sportive side, uh, there is less women doing sportive bicycles in Europe than in the uh, US and Canada. I was very impressed with the ultimate program that you offer in Europe. Uh, when might that be available in, in the North American market? very shortly. That means that I give you not a scoop, but the plan is to have, uh, and you will be happy again, because we have one target, Canada. That means that ultimate program will be available for Canada before end of this year. Gilles, again, thank you so much for having us at Le Pierre. It was really exciting to see all the new innovations and what Le Pierre is up to and to hear about the North American market. And we'll be watching uh, Paris-Roubaix very closely. Now that I've seen that Pulsium, I'll be looking uh, for an FDG on the, on the podium. And uh, all the best for this uh, 2015. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, maybe see you at Paris-Roubaix because uh, I put this in my agenda as well. Thank you.